Okay, everybody, had a little bit of setbacks here. Had some family things I needed to deal with. Uh, it is January 8th, I believe. I think the last video was around January 1st. Um, I have the bracket mounted for the, the pump. Um, I also am checking the run out with the indicator here. Uh, the best I can get out of it is um, 10 thousandths total run out, about five each way or a little bit more than that. Um, I can't get any better than that. I've tried adjusting everything I could, so I believe it's going to stay at that just to get vibration as down as best as possible. I did adjust these bolts down here to try to align the shaft and everything. Uh, so here's my fitting assembly. Um, this is a feed from the tank, so I had to be a little bit creative with some bends and some fittings. This feeds into the pump. Uh, this is the out. Um, and your black hose hooks to here. Sorry for the camera movement. And this is going to be my gauge. And around straight up is around oh, a little bit over 40. Um, I may adjust that so it's exactly straight up. But I changed some fittings around from where it comes out of the, the welder. I came down straight instead of straight in this way. It was uh, kind of stressing the, um, the lead line there. So now is a good time to service it. Uh, I have new fluid I have to put in. I use um, the Miller fluid for TIG torches. Um, and also I use uh, from CVS. It's just uh, distilled water. It's very cheap. Um, I also need to take this cap off and adjust the pressure. I do have a little bypass hose set up that I made. So I just have a in and out, sorry for the camera movement, in and out here and I can adjust the pressure without without, uh, without hooking up the TIG torch itself. So I'm going to be doing that as soon as I get fluid in it. And what I do is I also RTV the bottom of this here because sometimes when you move your cart it wants to seep out of here. So, so just some a little bit of black RTV. I'm going to plug this hole because there's no bypass. This is an internal bypass pump. So the next video will show hopefully maybe just uh, mocking it up and setting the pressure. It is a lot quieter. I did just spin it up real quick. I don't like to spin it up without any fluid in it. So the next video you will see will be uh, a quieter pump hopefully. Thanks for watching.